Okay, we have here today another integral from MIT 2020. This was problem number seven. We have the integral of sine to the fourth x, cos to the fourth x, cos x plus sine x times cos x minus sine x dx. Okay, pretty long expression there. When I was looking at this, I found there was actually, there's a ton of ways to solve this. I think I did four or five myself. I don't think I want to solve it five ways, but I can do it two ways. So we'll do this using two different methods. My first method is going to be the slow way, and the second method will be the fast way. I think this first way is going to be quite a bit slower, but more systematic. So let's see how that goes. To start, I'm just going to multiply these two together, and we'll have a difference of two squares, because we'll see that we're going to have cosine squared x minus sine squared x. And then what I'll do is just take this and multiply it into this expression. So we're going to have for our integral, we'll have sine to the fourth x cos to the sixth x minus sine to the sixth x cos to the four x dx. And then at this point, what jumps out to me is this is clearly looking like the reverse product rule that we have an expression of sine to some power and cosine to some power. If we take the derivative using the product rule, we should get back this whole thing. And at this point, we could kind of guess and check. It might be pretty apparent, and that would be faster, but this isn't the faster way, this is the slower way. And then so taking the slower way, what we're gonna do is we're gonna say that we're looking for the derivative of some expression. We'll write this expression as some value a times sine to the nx times cosine to the mx. And we'll just take the derivative of this and see what it looks like. Using, of course, the product rule, we're gonna have a then on our sine, we'll have the derivative of sine to the nx is going to be n sine n minus 1x. Then using the chain rule, we're going to have cosine x. And then we're going to have this cosine mx. But cosine mx times cosine 1x, this is going to give us cosine m plus 1. And then for our next term, okay, we'll have our, we'll have our a in front. We'll write our sine nx. And then the derivative of cosine mx, we'll bring the m all the way over here in front, we'll have cosine m minus one x. Chain rule again is gonna give us a minus sign. We can write this as a plus for our minus sign, but then we just need to change this sign to a minus. And then from here, what I can do is we can take this, compare it to our integral, and just solve for our values of a and an m. So first of all, let's look at this as if it lines up here, like we're saying, if this works, then we're saying n minus one, needs to equal 4, and then m plus 1 has to equal 6. And that's really easy. That gives us um, a value of n equal to 5 and a value of m equal to 5. And then you can just double check the other equation and make sure it all works. 5 and 5 are going to work fine for m and n. And then the only question now is what is our a value? Well, we can look at, well, now that we know that n's 5, we can look at a n as 5a. And the, the coefficient here is 1, the coefficient here is 1. We'll just focus on this one, though. So we're saying 5a equals 1. Well, then our a equals 1 over 5. And, of course, that would work for the other one as well. So putting that all together, we're saying this is going to be our solution, and we have our three values. So that means our answer is going to be 1 fifth sine to the fifth x cos to the fifth x plus c. Okay, and so that was the slow way. Okay, now for the fast way, what I've done is rewritten this to set it up a little nicer for this fast way, but all I've done is um, taken the fourth, written this as sine x cos x to the fourth, all to the fourth, and just distributed this, but we saw this in the first method. This is cosine squared x minus sine squared x. And then from here, we're gonna just do a u substitution for sine x cos x. So using the product rule on this, the derivative of sine is cosine times the cosine is cosine squared x. And then we're gonna have, we can, we're gonna keep our sine x, the derivative of cosine is minus sine x, so we'll have a sine squared x, but we need to keep that minus sine. And we'll notice that this is exactly what we have right here. So making this substitution, we're just gonna have u to the fourth du, just using the power rule, we have u to the five over five plus c. Our final solution, we'll have sine x, cos x to the fifth over five plus c. And that's it. You may notice here the fifth power is distributed, but it's the same solution. So that's it. Let me know what you like better, slow way or fast way. We'll stop it there. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Have a good day.